Hey there, it's Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to day 11th of my Latvian challenge, four words a day. You have gone through 10 days already. Can you imagine that? I think it's time to check yourself or actually I will test you today myself. So, and that's also the sentence that I want to teach you today. I will teach you to say, today I will test you. And in Latvian that would be, šodien es jūs pārbaudīšu. And the rhythm of this sentence is, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, no. Now I'll say it slower. Es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. There are three quite important words in this sentence. That's why I thought it would be useful for you to know these words. And the last word is pārbaudīšu. This word means I will test because of its ending. The ending implies that I'm referring to the first person singular, to myself. Pārbaudīšu. But let's start from the last syllable. And the last syllable is shu. Shu. It's quite simple, isn't it? I think we can read it together. Shu. Please read it together with me. Shu. And once more. Shu. Excellent. But the syllable that stands before the syllable shu is di. Di. And in the syllable, there is the long vowel, e, so you have to be careful to pronounce it long. The, let's say it together twice. The, the, and now the last two syllables together. I'll say them first for you, and then I think you are ready to pronounce them together with me twice. So my turn first, the, shu. Let's do it together now, twice. Di shu. Di shu. Excellent. And the syllable that stands before the syllable di will be a little more difficult. And that syllable is bao. There is a diphthong ao in this syllable. Bao, bao. Do you think you can pronounce it together with me? Let's try. Bow. Let's do it again. Bow. Do you think you can do it without me? Please try. Yes, you can. And now all three syllables together. Bow the shu. Let's read it together. Bow the shu. And once more. Baudishu. And you know what? This is a word. Yes, it is. It has a meaning. It's a wonderful word because it means I will savor or I will enjoy. Baudishu. Baudishu. Isn't it a nice word? Let's say it together again. Baudishu. Wonderful. And now, without me. Excellent. And now, the syllable that stands before the syllable bow is actually a prefix, which changes the meaning of the word. And that prefix is par. Par. There is the long vowel a ah, in that syllable, and there is the Latin r sound. Par. Let's pronounce it together and remember to pronounce the vowel long. Par. Let's do it again. Par. And now all four syllables together. Par baudishu. That's how it should sound and the rhythm is yes, no, no, no. Of course, you can put a small stress on the third syllable, but remember that stress should not be bigger than the stress on the first syllable. The stress should always be really noticeable on the first syllable, 
or almost always. Pārbaudīšu. Let's read it together. Pārbaudīšu. And let's do it again. Pārbaudīšu. And now just you. Excellent. Well done. And now the word that stands before the word Pārbaudīšu. And that word is Šodien. Šodien. You might have heard this word. This word has derived from two other words. From the word she in its form shu because it's a form of the word she and you already know the word she it means this. And the other word which you also know and that word is diana ending of the word diana is cut off and these words have been glued together to make the word shuadien and shuadien means today literally it means this day remember you learned the word labdien just the first syllables in those two words differ labdien and shuadien However, there is another difference because in the word labdien, the second syllable is stressed, but in the word shuadien, the first syllable is stressed. You might want to remember that. And then there is another new word in this sentence, es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu, and that word is jūs. It's the second person personal pronoun, which means you. But this is the you that we use for a group of people, or this is also the form of politeness. Use. Once more, that word is use. I think it's easy to remember the word because it sounds similar to the English word you. So, once more, the word is use. Let's pronounce it together twice. Use. Use. And I don't want to pronounce the three words together because we need one more word which you already know. And that word is S. S means I. And the entire sentence is S jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. S jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. It's a little challenging, but I think we can do it all together. I'll reduce the pace. Let's read the sentence. Es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. Did you notice that the word jūs is not stressed? Remember, the rhythm is yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, no. Listen to me saying it again. Es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. And now I'll say it faster. Es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. I'd like you to read it together with me, but of course I'll reduce the pace significantly. I'll say it like this. Es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. Let's read it together at this pace. Es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. Wonderful, but now I do want you to increase the pace. Let's have the pace like this. Es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. Let's do it. Ready, set, go. Es jūs šodien pārbaudīšu. Very well. But we have only three words. And what's the fourth word? Well, when you test something or somebody, you test it for whether it is correct or incorrect. And just like in English, it's the same word, except there is that prefix that makes the whole difference. So, I will actually teach you two words or maybe even three words, but I'll pretend that I'm teaching you just one. And that word is 
nepareizi. Do you think it means correct or incorrect? Nepareizi. Well, yes, of course, it's incorrect. I know, you could tell it by the prefix ne, right? Yes, well done. So now you start feeling the Latvian language a little bit already. So I'll start from the last syllable of this word because it is a four syllable word and it will be too difficult for you to start immediately saying the whole word. So the last syllable is Z, Z with a short E. It's really simple. So let's say it twice. Z. Z. Wonderful. But the syllable that stands before the syllable Z is not that easy. And that syllable is re. Re. There is the Latvian R sound in it, but there is also a diphthong A, which I don't think I have taught you before. A. A. And the syllable is re. Ray, Ray. Can you do it together with me twice, please? Ray, Ray. And the last two syllables together. Raisy, Raisy. And you know what? This is a word. Raisy actually is a word. It means time or turn. Not the time which you tell when you look at your watch. It's the time when you ask a question, how many times have you repeated that word? That kind of time. Or, I do it for the first time. That kind of time. So, raise is another word. That's why I said I will teach you another word, pretending that I am teaching you only four words today. But let's add the prefix that actually changes the meaning of the word raisi. And that prefix is pa. Pa. It's very simple. So I'll pronounce the word paraisi. Paraisi. Paraisi means correct or correctly. So I'll pronounce the word one more time and then I'd like you to read it together with me twice. First, my turn. Paraisi. And now let's do it together. Paraisi. Paraisi. Wonderful. And notice that the stress is now on the syllable pa. But when we add another syllable in front of it, then the stress will shift and it will be on the very first syllable of the word. And that syllable is ne. Ne. And the whole word together is ne pareisi. Ne pareisi. The rhythm is yes, no, no, no. Ne pareisi. Let's read it together twice. Ne pareisi. Ne pareisi. And now just you. Very well. But now I'm going to test you. I have a list of words and uh, you'll have them on your screen. I will read them from the piece of paper that I have printed out here and I will ask you about the meaning of those words that I'm going to read. So, the list of words is like this. Māja, divi, ruaka, prast, stāvēt, and būt. So, which of these words mean to stand? What did you say? Ruaka. Ne pareizi. And you, what did you say? Stāvēt pareizi. And which of these words mean to have a skill, to be able to do something? What did you say? Māja? No, ne pareizi. And you, what did you say? Is it prast? 
You are absolutely right. Pareizi. Do you remember the sentence that I taught you? Es protu stāvēt uz galvas. What did that sentence mean? It meant I can stand on my head. And the word prast is the default form of the word protu. Remember? Let's do another test, shall we? Okay, here's another list of words. Acis, atā, atvainot, galva, labdien, mēnesis. So, which of these words is sorry? What did you say? Mēnesis, nepareizi. Yes, I think I heard the right answer. Is it? Yes, atvainot, pareizi. Isn't that fun? Let's do one more. Okay, here's another list of words. Uz, galva, sist, rhythms, abi, ar. Which of these words means both? What did you say? Ar nepareizi. Oh, yes, that's right. Abi. Abi means both. Pareizi. And how about this? Which of these words means to? Did you say ar nepareizi? Yes, it means uz, because uz means on, but uz also means to. Remember the yesterday's lesson, uz redzēšanos. And that's what I'm going to say to you now, uz redzēšanos. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.